Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Get Gaming, and last we left off, the Spider Slayers whooped my butt three times, I think it was. I'm not sure. Maybe, I think this is my fourth. But anyways, this time they're going down, I promise. What the? I hit web strike. Why did it go to the pole? Okay, where they are? Where they are at now? Where they at now? Where'd they go? Are you serious? Are you serious? Go ahead, kill me right now. Kill me right as the video starts. Oh, I'm gonna give this up game. I'm gonna give this game up for adoption. Dun, dun, dun. Web strike. That was so weird. Okay, web strike again. How many times do I have to do it? Oh my goodness. Oh, and then of course there's that lovely blue force field of hate. Ah, oh, come on, let me get them. I'm not playing around anymore. Look, it won't even let me if I stare right at them. I have to get like uber close and then okay there we go let me deactivate him oh my goodness mm. you know what in my in my last video i said that the hunters don't make any sense so that they should be women but you know what they're pretty dang stubborn right now so i'm starting to think maybe they're men too and dudes i'm allowed to say that because i'm one of us and i know i can be stubborn sometimes but in a good way you know like uh like i'm cute you know i'm a cutie Hopefully that gets me a date. Oh, come on, get up. Oh, yeah! You guys have no idea how angry I am at these hunters right now. Watching them blow up just brings me great joy. See, now I'm grinding on a piece of them. That's what I'm talking about. That's how Spider-Man does it. Okay, seriously, let me add him. Uh, yes, I got him. Yes. You know how I know? Because Spider-Man just starts headed towards him, and I know now I'm ripping his wings off, and they're off. And backflip, and land. Oh, that almost brought a burp out. I land. I don't, I don't burp. I'm a woman. I mean, I'm a lady. I don't burp. Just kidding. I'm not a lady. I just said I'm a man. That's why I called myself stubborn. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, crap. No, 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 no. Yes. Do you want to know what I think they're setting it up for? Um, the Spider-Man movies, that is, and I guess the game, too. Uh, in the comics, or in the original trilogy, Green Goblin is the very first villain the Spider-Man fights. Like, as soon as he becomes Spider-Man, Green Goblin is becoming Green Goblin. But in the old TV show and in the comics, Green Goblin was like... Well, in the movie too, Green Goblin was a big arch enemy of Spider-Man, but in the comics, he was like a gigantic enemy, like he was the baddest of the bad, like he was horrible. I mean, I think Venom's up there too, but that was one, I don't know, I feel like that one, I feel like he's still not Spider-Man's arch enemy, I feel like that's Green Goblin, because Green Goblin's just a jerk, like, in the movies, oh, I got an unknown caller. Hello? Oh my goodness, it's Alistair Smythe. You guys can read that, right? And I'll talk over it. Anyways, Green Goblin, in the trilogy, he dies in the first one. So, like, after that, he doesn't do much. But in the comics and TV show, he was huge. Like, he was a crime lord and stuff. And, like, he was not... Well, he wanted to be a crime lord. No, he didn't. That was the Hobgoblin. I'm confused. Either way, the Green Goblin stinks. Stinks! <laughs> the Green Goblin sticks around for a lot longer in the comics and TV show. And uh, he actually comes later on. So with the movie, they're talking about Norman Osborn being sick and trying to cure him. So I think that's what they're trying to lead up to and having the Green Goblin be more of a villain in this Spider-Man series and uh, like being a bigger villain, not dying right away, sticking around, being like, you know, the, what's it called? Archetype. What's the archetype? He's being the, the antagonist where Spider-Man's, oh, story mode's all the way back there. I didn't even notice. So yeah, I think they're definitely trying to build up to Green Goblin like they did in the comics. Like, he was introduced as, I think, I don't know, maybe the, I think like the 10th major villain for Spider-Man? I'm not sure. Does the Rhino count as a villain? Like a big villain? I think so. I mean, he made it into this game. And so did the Lizard. I think the Lizard was Spider-Man's first one. That's why this one's trying to follow more of the comic book storyline. Anyways, like I said, took me... You guys see why it takes me so long to get my point across? Because I just don't convey my messages very quickly. Um, yeah, I think they're trying to build up to Green Goblin a lot more. Like in the comic books. Make him a bigger villain, you know? Not put him out of bat right first day. 
All right, let's go, let's go. Let Enter Oscorp facility. You got it, baby. Oh, just ripped it right off like no one's gonna notice. Spider-Man no more. I do not like the sounds of that. Bank robbery in St. Gabriel's Bank. People are crazy. Oh, you know what that is? That's the demo for 3DS. That, this for, not, <laughs> not the tweet, but like the bank robbing St. Gabriel's, that's what you play through in the 3DS demo and it's where you get to fight the black cat. All right, let's go. Oh, look at that down there. Look at all those lasers and robots and Spider-Man's trying to talk. But I put subtitles on for a reason so you guys can read that. And if you can't read, I don't know how you found this video. I mean, I know you can't type in YouTube unless you have it on your bookmarks. In which, you know what, you should just learn how to read. That would just help the, a lot of people, including yourself. And, ooh, a tech piece. Got it. All right, let's go. 750 tech pieces. Let's upgrade. All right. Let's go, let's go. I'll do wall blast. Yes. And I don't have any other thing to unlock except spider tracers. Okay. Did it unlock more upgrades? No. Okay. That sucked. All right. Let's keep crawling through this vent. It's always weird when they do that. Make Spider-Man like go from the floor to the wall to the ceiling. I feel weird. I feel like I messed up. Whoa. Oh, there's Oster Smythe's special wheelchair. Just like in the comics. TV show, I can't remember. No, the TV show, he had a crazy one from Kingpin. This one must be from the comics. I know, I don't remember Alistair in the comics. I mean, I saw one recently where he become, when, when he's the cyborg android cross-species thing. That one's gross. I mean, he looks gross right now. And him and Connors are arguing, and I shouldn't be talking over them. I'm gonna shut up. I don't know why I sound like Kermit all of a sudden. Ah! This is a really great Kermit impression. I can only do it sometimes. And now it doesn't really sound like Kermit anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, where's Mrs. Piggy? Is that her name? I don't remember. I haven't seen Muppets in so long. My voice. Oh, my throat's killing me from doing that. But sometimes I do a really great Kermit impression, but only when my voice is just right. And sometimes I do a really great impression of one of the people from uh, VeggieTales, but I don't remember who. I think it's the P, but not the regular P's, the one, the three that are like French. It's the one that is the old man P. I do a really great impression of him. But that was a long time ago. I haven't done it right since. Maybe, maybe it's like Spider-Man 2 and I lost my ability to do that. And I gotta find it again, only through the risk of Mary Jane's life. So now I need to find a girl named Mary Jane and risk her life from a crazy tentacle man. Or maybe I'll just throw her in the grasp of a real octopus. That could work. Did you guys notice how I utilized my web throw and I managed to knock out all those guys? All right, let's try to have not these lasers catch me. Just destroy the turret. And I think the lasers saw me. Did they? No, they didn't. That's great for me. Yes, they did. Whatever, I'm just gonna destroy this. Oh, not those robots, I hate those robots. Okay, turn that down, I mean, I turn that one. I hate these robots. Oh my goodness, these robots are the bane of my existence. Also, I just said that to myself recently, I think it was like a few days ago, and I had said that saying before, and then I realized, I was like, oh my goodness, that's why That's why Bane and the Batman, like Batman's enemy has that name, That that's why they named him Bane. I was like, no way. And I found, I figured that out all by myself. And no, that didn't come from Batman. Batman got that from that. I'm pretty sure. That'd be pretty cool if Batman inspired that saying, but I don't think so. Oh my goodness, these robots see me every time. That's not possible. Okay, just gotta get this turret perfectly. All right, look, you didn't even, no one saw me, did they? Okay, the flash just went off, they saw me. The flash. Oh yeah, you wanna know what else I was thinking? I think someone should really do something with the flash, like, he is a cool superhero, and I was also reading something else. Someone thinks that he is the fat, the, not the fastest. It's obviously the fastest one in the DC universe, but also the most powerful. Like he could beat Superman. Like there's this one point when he had like, like his powers come from the Speed Force, and which apparently he created. But anyways, um, he had such a connection to the Speed Force that he could take speed away from things and grant it to them so like he could give people super speed or he could make them like technically paralyzed I guess because they wouldn't be able to move and uh, why is everything electric whatever I'm just gonna swing swing away and stuff like that so he's really powerful I think he'd be a cool hero to either have a movie for or a 
TV show because he's pretty sweet. But I'm guessing if they would, it would probably have to be something like Justice League because I don't think anyone would watch that yet because he's not as well known. So he would definitely have to have uh, be in the Justice League or something, but then maybe his own spinoff. I mean, he's already been in the Justice League, the Justice League Unlimited, and he was also in like Batman, the Batman, I mean. Um, that, that show looked kind of weird, like the animation on Batman looked kind of weird. And ooh, I got the elevator door open, sweet! But uh, yeah, I think it'd be kind of hard to do a video game with him because like, it'd be hard to play as him with that superpower because then, I don't know, I guess things would be too easy. But uh, yeah, after that little rant um, about The Flash, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my main channel, all my other videos, and stay tuned because next time I'm going to beat all these guys. Let me just throw this last TV. Alright guys, peace out.